All right, Northwest Jeepers. Um, key dance procedure. This should work for any of the Chrysler vehicles from... I've seen it as early as 84 with fuel-injected models. And uh, all the way up to OBD2, I think they stopped doing the key dance code read in around the year 2000. But it, it all depends on the, on the model. I know on the 96 Cherokee, which I have, it does work. Key dance procedure is key on, off, on, off, on. Within, I think it's four or five seconds, so... On, off, on, off, on. Seatbelt light will go out. Check engine light will go out. And now you can count the codes. One, one, two. Code 12. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Code 55. I have no other stored codes. 12 and 55 are beginning and end of codes. Any code in between a 12 and 55 is a stored historical check engine code. On OBD2 models, it will not display your specific OBD2 code. It will only display the generic OBD1 code. If you have an OBD2 model, you will need an OBD2 code reader to get the P0 code. I'll run it again. If you need to run it again, you have to turn the key off for about eh, 30 seconds a minute. Then back on, off, on, off, on again. And you'll hear the fuel pump prime every time you do it. That's normal. One... One, two, code 12, beginning of codes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. End of codes. I have no stored diagnostic codes, as I said before. To reset codes, turn the vehicle all the way off. If you really want to and you're kind of worried about it, you can start the vehicle immediately after if you want to, but turn the key off first. There are certain features that are available during key dance. They vary by model. Uh, my minivan had a whole bunch of different options. So I hope that helps, guys.